Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George here. Today we're taking a look at the 2024 Subaru Outback Wilderness in the Magnetite Grey Metallic. This is the most off-road oriented Outback they've ever made. You've got eight increased ground clearance from 8.7 inches to 9.5 inches of minimum ground clearance. Powered by a 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer engine producing 260 horsepower and 277 pounds feet of torque. Got a revised gear ratio and climb steeper hills and some exclusive exterior accents. At the back, we do have a power lift gate you can activate from proximity, the key fob, the door, the driver's seat. We've got those little black circles in the rear bumper. Those will apply the brakes if you think you're going to hit something in reverse between speeds of 1 and 15 kilometers an hour. Those anodized copper highlights are where you will insert a tow hook to recover other vehicles. And behind the second row seats, we have a ton of room in the back of the Outback. Wilderness cargo tray is standard equipment, as is the two-stage privacy cover. Hides everything from the top of the seats down, and if you have some taller items you need to fit under there, it retracts to a higher position as well. Now this is easy to remove. You simply use the button there and lift up. You can actually store the cargo tray underneath here. There's a place to lie it across on top of our full-size spare tire, which with a matching alloy wheel. So you can do five tire rotation should you wish. 12 volt power point along with a little storage cubby. We do get the upgraded Harman Kardon sound system in the 24 Outback Wilderness and we have the ability to fold the seats down 60-40 split with the handles. To close it, we can pull down, we can press the button, we can do it from the key fob, we can do it from the driver's seat. We've got the larger different style roof rails on the Outback Wilderness. These copper points indicate tie down points. So these are stronger than your standard Outback roof rails and crossbars. And that's because they expect people to put things like rooftop tents and the like on top. In the second row, the back of the seats when folded down, which is virtually flat, rubberized. It's not the same material as a cargo tray, but it's similar. Easy to clean, easy to wipe down. Pet hair won't warm its way into the material. We've got lots of headroom, room, lots of leg room, and we have the StarTex soft touch all-weather upholstery. Non-perforated, easy to clean, easy to wipe down. There's a fold-down armrest with integrated cup holders. We've got two USBs on the Set rear of the center console along with heated seats for the outboard two passengers. Fence out of the center console in addition to facing rearward underneath each front seat. High wall rubber mats come standard equipment. Rear door card, soft touch, soft touch armrest. With it being a proximity key, all you have to do, as so long as the key's within 46 inches, is touch these lines and it locks. Wait a second and again, so long as the key's within 46 inches, hand in and it unlocks. Front door card looks very similar to that of the rear. Driver's seat, same seating material, just a power seat with wilderness embossed on the headrest. In the Outback with it running, on the steering wheel left-hand side, we have our Bluetooth and audio controls. You can make and take calls, control the volume that calls the music. Right-hand side, we have our adaptive cruise control and our lane centering. Now, both of those use these three black boxes, those color stereo eyesight cameras to look for vehicles, pedestrians, cyclists, and road lines. The all-important heated steering wheel. It is a whole heated wheel on the Outback. A little dead spot right there where the heating elements come out, but whole wheel is heated. Paddle shifters, downshift and upshift, so we can manually select our gears with the automatic CVT. 11.6 inch infotainment system that they've broken into three portions. Top portion, we've got what we're listening to, widgets, weather, which is part of the satellite radio trial. And then we get an exclusive dual function X mode, which is like four x four low in a pickup for that really rough stuff. Center portion, radio, phone, and media, fairly self-explanatory. Under apps, we have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You will gain access to the My Subaru app after the vehicle is registered in your name. We have our forward-facing off-road camera in addition to our backup camera in this screen. Rear assist braking is on, parking sensors on. You can actually clean the backup camera from inside the vehicle. Run washer fluid over. It's got its own little drain. Climate control is dual zone. We have physical buttons on either side or simply click brings it up. You can click, you can drag, it's easy to sync, control where you want your airflow coming from, easy to use. Below that, wireless phone charger along with two USBs and an aux. White means that it's ready to accept something to charge. When you put a device there that's charging, it goes blue. Automatic CVT with the manual mode. Very, very deep cup holders, nice soft touch armrest. We have an auto dimming rear view mirror, so no switch to flick if someone has their brights on, just dims. Your side mirrors are also auto dimming and they are paired with that. Above that, we have our SOS and roadside that you gain once the vehicle's registered in your name. And we have a tilt and slide sunroof with a manual shade. 
That is a quick look at the 2024 Subaru Outback Wilderness in the Magnetite Gray Metallic Stock number 240B9093. And you can find it down here at the corner of First and Victoria, Subaru of Prince George.